Welcome to the topic where we highlight Houston Community College, our students, our programs, and our reach into the community. I'm Todd Duplantis. Houston Community College cultivates leaders through our Honors College program. Executive Director Dr. Cheryl Peters from the Honors College joins us. Thanks for being here today. Thank you. On the topic, we try to educate the public about different programs that HCC has to offer. And one of the unique programs we have is the Honors College. For those folks out there who don't know about this, give us a chance to uh, tell us a little bit about it. Okay, the Honors College is basically a small college inside the big college. Um, we do have a separate application process uh, because we're looking for students who are academically talented and who have, have good high school GPAs. We do have our own uh, separate application process um, that is separate and on our website. But it includes, you know, your application that shows us your GPA, a writing sample, and then we do an interview. And we make a holistic determination. We want a very diverse class, as in fact um, just most Houston Community College students are. But we're looking for people that have different talents, but we're all, we are very committed to uh, the three things of scholarship, leadership, and offering students a, a wonderful study abroad experience. So it's a very special place, and we only have three locations at the Central College, Spring Branch, and Stafford, and there's just a capacity of 50 students at each location. So effectively, we're always recruiting a freshman class and hope that they move up to be sophomores and then recruiting, rec recruiting a new freshman class. You're talking about 150 students across the district, That's correct? That's right. That's right. These students are selected. What can they, how can they benefit from this program and what are the goals you're trying to instill in them? The benefits are completely enormous, uh, more than we even expected up front. We work on three points, a scholarship, leadership and service, and then the study abroad. So in regard to the piece of scholarship, we want to send all of these students on to excellent four-year universities. That is a very explicit goal of ours. And we have sent students to 35 different colleges, including Ivy Leagues, every single college in Texas, uh, highly competitive schools. And we do that through developing uh, cohorts of students who go through the program together and they get to know each other, they challenge one another, and all of our students, last time our senior class graduating average was 3.6, and that was among 22 students. Uh, we hadn't yet expanded yet, but very high standards. Then the second point is leadership right. development, and we're very interested, we know these students will be leaders in the community, in businesses, possibly in politics, and in other areas. So we work explicitly on that in a course, but then we send them out after the course to go run for office in different student organizations. Mm -hmm. And they, they just, uh, you know, they occupy many, many top offices at, in many student clubs. So. I noticed you also mentioned the study abroad, which is a big plus for a lot of these students. Oh, They're always attracted to that study abroad. Yes. Um, you guys went on a trip to Italy this past year during spring break. Talk about that. We did. It was absolutely wonderful. Uh, we went to Florence and we went, went to Venice. We spent about eight or, no, eight or nine days, about half in each city. Um, all the students went very, very prepared to uh, talk about a place or a person so that when we actually got there, um, a student would always be the guide to, for others. They've all prepared presentations that they did in class, but they would do them on an impromptu basis. Right. And so putting together that trip, which, uh, you know, Florence was the home of the whole Italian Renaissance, and it just combines together the truly the best in art and architecture and um, uh, just simply the beauty of the buildings, the way the city is uh, laid out. And it, w it was a magnificent opportunity. Students it loved like it in every wonderful, way. wonderful oh, trip, and you can see by the it was pictures. The best. <laughs> Dr. Peters, thank you for joining us on the topic you, today. Sir. If you would like more information on the Honors College, you can visit hccs.edu slash honors. For the topic, I'm Todd Duplantis. I'll see you next time.